I'm Big Will Levinson, and it's time to talk sports. We have had a loaded night of high school sports action across the Western Slope, and we start with a huge Cross Valley showdown on the diamond. Two of the best on the Western Slope, both entering this one on win streaks. It's Palisade and Fruit, and we pick it up in the top half for the third, tied at two, but not for long. Scuba Smolinski floats this into the sun in right field, and it bounces in between two Bulldogs for a base hit as Carson Reed stomps home to put Fruita up three to two. But Easton Embry, he has had enough. With the strikeout as the dogs get out of the inning and keep the trend of one run half innings, but Parker Noah puts an end to that trend, getting his fellow pitcher Embry to swing and keeping Palisade scoreless in the third. Now in the fourth, the heads of play by catcher Will Sirianni throwing a first and catching Josh Weaver lacking for the out. As Fruita can't muster anything, they still lead 3-2. Now in the fifth, Scuba again at the plate, and Scuba again delivers, lasering it down the left field line as rounding third and jogging home comes Lucas Weaver, and Scuba Smolinski is safe at second. Fruita extends the lead. It's 4-2. to two. Same inning, same score. Colton Hicks smacks this ball deep to center. Catcher in the way, but the ball hits grass. Is zooming around third and coming on home is Scuba. As fellow Wildcat Keenan Oxford also comes home as Fruta has found something in the fifth. They lead now 6-2. to two. Josh Weaver with a great piece to right center with plenty of room for it to fall and plenty of time for Noah Brackett to come on home as the Wildcats extend the lead and get the win. 7-2 over Palisade, extending their win streak to five and ending Palisades at five. And across the street at Unity Field, it was senior night for the GJ Tigers. As they took on Central scoreless here at half one and off the corner of the ball, bounces into the middle. It's kicked out, but they're waiting for it is Melanie Zeller, and she puts it in as the Tigers take the lead over their rival. one nothing in the first. Now Central is threatening the help up ahead pass, and it's a race for the ball, but a heads of play by Tiger goalie Maddie Snell to quickly end the chance. But back on the Warriors. Nice pass by Marissa Simmons, and the race is on, and Isabel Arietta wins the race and knocks it away to keep the Tigers in front. Now the engine of the Tigers offense, Kiana Sanders charging ahead. Looks like she's got a lane to the net, but Jazz Fenn with a textbook tackle, timing it perfectly. A huge defensive play keeps the score one to nothing. And what a big defensive play that was by Jazz Fenn because Central found the equalizer in the second half as the Warriors and the Tigers draw one to one at Unity Field and at Canyon View Park. A gorgeous afternoon for high school lacrosse as Montrose was in town to battle Grand Junction and the Tigers led big at the half, but Montrose is looking to inch closer. Unfortunately, we couldn't get a roster for Montrose, but number four for the Red Hawks gets them closer. But GJ with the answer, Aiden Cassidy puts the Tigers up 10. Now off the nice pass, Gavin Montram puts, in, puts it in as GJ adds to the lead, but Montrose would not go down quietly. How about this? The behind the back shot. Are you kidding? We got to see that again. Let's take a look right over the shoulder. Man, that should be on Sports Center. Not number six, winding it up and letting it rip. Wicked strike to the net, cuts GJ's lead back down to nine. Now number one, charging ahead with speed, and he puts it in as the Red Hawks. They are making plays, but so too are the Tigers, as Edison Dean beats the goalie and keeps the Tigers up big as Grand Junction doesn't allow Montrose to get back in it, picking up win number four, 18 to nine, and keeping the Red Hawks winless. Back to girls soccer. How about Palisade staying undefeated with a big win over league rival Eagle Valley, getting the 7 0 and 1 with the 3 to 1 win. And back to baseball down in Montrose, the Red Hawks escape the Tigers in a super tight game. 5 to 4 is the final as the Red Hawks get a game over 500, and the Tigers go back to 500 at 6 and 6. And both the Nuggets and the Avalanche picked up. Big wins tonight on an absolutely loaded night of sports. But that's all my time for sports. I'm Big Will Levinson.